Meanwhile, the enforcement directorate has made two arrests in the Delhi liquor case, arresting two major businessmen from Aurobindo Farmers, managing director Sarath Reddy and also Binoy Babu of Pernod Ricard. The ED has arrested both of them, saying that they're involved in this. So far, their lawyers have not reacted to NDTV, but the companies have issued statements saying that this has nothing to do with their business operations. But Aurobindo Farmers has been hit with shares dropping 11%. Arvind, what are the latest details you have on this? So near the enforcement directorate arrested uh, two important businessmen connected, allegedly connected to this daily excise policy, one Sharath Reddy of Aravindo Pharma and also Binai, uh, Binoy uh, Baby, so uh, Binai Babu. So what uh, sources in the enforcement directorate say that during the course of the investigation that they got to know that uh, Sharath Reddy uh, through his uh, group companies in fact controlled almost five retail zones in the daily excise policy whereas the excise policy clearly states that an entity cannot be given more than two uh, retail licenses but in the case of Sharath Reddy, he was controlling almost five retail licenses and the agency sources also maintain that he actually controlled almost 30% of the entire liquor sale in the state of mm -hmm. uh, Delhi and that's what they have informed the court also. Very importantly, the enforcement directorate also informed the court almost 100 crore uh, was collected by uh, Sharath Reddy and it was transferred as kickbacks to several uh, political executives or public officers through uh, Vijay Nair according to the enforcement directorate. They also say that almost 140 mobile phones were changed by all these 34 individuals who are involved in this particular case but and that's where the agency said that only because of that the agency had to arrest all these two guys right now of course uh, this has to be held up as you said this is what the enforcement director is claiming at this point we haven't heard from their lawyers yet but let's see how this unfolds as we said two major businessmen being arrested there by the enforcement director